all those winkings. <laughs> all those winkings. Uh, you should suggest to him to date Ellen. <laughs> Especially if you tell him about how she, how he hurt her. Nah, uh, Ellen doesn't know how to brush off Virginia. Because she'll be all like, that Damien kid's trouble. And she'll be like, uh... <laughs> Like, you don't know what true love is. Save, save me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> save me with a savory hug. <laughs> Flyers up in the halls have informed us there will be a special assembly for all freshmen this Thursday. No class activities can be scheduled for that day. What should I do this week? Oh, another week where I'm missing a class. Oh, this That's on the fries. We actually use some green now. That's only down to 17. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Green and black. Maybe red? Let's do red. And some studying. Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Which day do we want to study on? I don't care. Study on Tuesday. The day that you won't fail. The day that I won't fail? Yes. Alright. Uh. Bam. Good enough. Success! Slash! A sharp blow to the target causes focus damage. Hmm. Success! Ah! I, I made the star wipe animate faster, sorry. Ellen is in the room, systematically taking clothes out of her dresser, then putting them back in. I love this music. Ah, it's such a shame you don't get volume. Eh. It's all like, da -da 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 -da. like it, I don't know. It's <laughs> whatever. What are you doing? Trying to find the stolen. Cl I mean, folding my clothes. Yes, but why are you unfolding them first? So I had something tucked away beside. Do we want them? Because they aren't folded properly. Ellen's all flustered. Um. Okay. I guess everyone has their quirks. Well, that was pointless. I accidentally double clicked. I hope I didn't skip that scene. Mind if I go back? Skip what scene? Like, I hope I didn't accidentally cancel the, end, the tail end of that. I don't think there was. I think there's it. Alright, well. I hope I didn't, because that would be, that'd be a shame. Open. Unlocks and opens doors or other objects that are designed to open and close. Well, that sounds like a waste. It's like, we have those. They're called doorknobs. Um... On Thursday morning, all the freshmen are gathered together in the gym. It's your Good old lady voice. Good morning, boys. my bright young things. Whatever you may be. <laughs> Today is a special occasion for all of you. You're going to get to practice what you've learned and try out some spells on each other without the pressure of a test or grades. Are we dueling? Use the slash button <laughs> to slash! Seriously? This is an important lesson, because in the future exams, you may come up against against other spellcasters. You need to know how to use magic in combat, and how to avoid magic being used on you. Will everyone please team up in twos? some jostling and shuffling around. Ellen and Virginia pair off, and I end up standing by Virginia's brother, Donald. Please pay attention before we begin. Hey, look, something shiny. <laughs> I want you to take turns casting spells at each other and blocking them. This is not a battle, and you're not trying to defeat each other. Think of this as a game of catch. And then, like, somebody's like, lightning bolt. And they're like, oh, God. <laughs> catch like, it with rubber. He's like, it's like a game of catch. And then there's, like, this explosion <laughs> immediately, like, rents the gymnasium. <laughs> I thought he had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I dropped it. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> One of you is the pitcher. And the other one is the catcher. You can only pitch when it's your turn, so the defender must only defend, and not attack. So we are attacking each other, got it. <laughs> Aggressively. 
Yeah. Also, please do not interfere with any other pairs. That might that includes casting spells that tend to be messy. No fireballs or ice storms, please. Target only your partner. I will be on hand to deal with any injuries and accidents. If you're hurt, please call for help. I'll be right there after it's, I adjust my nose. It's like, Professor Potsdam, I accidentally cut off his head with Slash. <laughs> if only they were fingers. <laughs> Have fun! Fun? I turn to face my partner. Late. Uh, sorry. Ladies first. You were starting to do uh, what's his face's voice. Yeah. The guy from the sports club. Uh, I'm not sure what the cast. I've never done this before. You, you can do a push spell, right? Sure, that's easy. All right, then push me. Push me, woman. <laughs> Tell me I've been a bad boy. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I start to cast a spell, but suddenly a wave of cold sweeps over my body and I can't move. The spell fizzles uncast. <laughs> I wasn't sure that would work. Mm. Already breaking rules. Eh, it'll wear off in a minute. As he said, I unfree shortly, but my fingertips are still tingling and sore. Alright, it's my turn now. Are you ready? I suppose. Oh. Dos tres. See, him. I'm He's cultured. All... He's like, I can talk in Spanish. L is for loser. He said to cast push, so I'll cast push. There's a little jolt, and I feel a sting like a tiny electric shock as Donald stumbles backwards. Ow. Hey, you're not supposed to attack now. I thought it might throw off your aim. Hey, I guess it might. Okay. I guess it might for a moment after. We worked together for a while, trading spells back and forth. Then Donald holds up his hands and leans in close to whisper something. Ah, whisper something. I Whis got an idea. When I say go, you drop to the floor and cover your eyes. I'm gonna cast something over your head. He's trying to rope us into a prank. Yes. Okay. Go! <laughs> there was like this fire noise. <laughs> On cue, I duck and cover. There's a whooshing noise and a burst of heat overhead, it followed was... by screams? Oh god, my hair! <laughs> Donald, what are you doing? Oh, you're in trouble. What? Well, your flaming dragon's very impressive. Oh, I missed the fire <laughs> dragon? <laughs> That's what you worry about. Yeah. I did specifically tell you to avoid larger spells. If poor Rain hadn't managed to get out of the way, you would have hurt her badly. Like he cares. This is very disappointing. You've always been so careful in your creativity. Why would you take such a risk? Defend him. Yeah. Cause, cause he told you. Yeah, that's true. Professor Potsdam? Uh, Potsdam? Potsdam? Whatever. I wasn't actually in danger. He told me to get down and made sure I was out of the way before he cast it. You knew what he was going to do? Yes. <laughs> I knew he was going to do something and saying this should get him out of trouble, right? Well, I suppose that changes things slightly. Both oh. of you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, both of you, detention, 20 demerits. You know? Yep. <laughs> then. What? It's only fair for both conspirators to suffer equally 
and you did know that you shouldn't cast such large spares. But no demerits, since there was no real danger. All right. Come on, Donald. Speak up in my defense now. Be like, she didn't know what I was going to do. I just told her to go along with it. Whatever. Nah, he wants, it. He wants you all to himself. <sighs> that bastard. <laughs> Perhaps the two of you can use the time to come up with some more interesting ways of showcasing your skills for the class. See, I wouldn't want to date Donald, because then Ellen would be all like, double standards much, William? <laughs> well, I guess I guess technically Donald might not have that rule, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. She'd be like, well, that's not fair. Yes, ma'am. No problem. Yeah, look at him, the sly <laughs> bastard. He's like, all right. I this got brain and detention. All to my... So oh, never mind. There's going to be a teacher there. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be good now. Well, at least you didn't get... <laughs> otherwise, Mr. Grabby Pants will have to spank you both. Uh, uh, you know, I really want to get us out of negatives here. <laughs> so I yeah. really want to pass the next test. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Because we only got that because we went for the funny option. Because if we had just gave up, we wouldn't have gotten... Uh, but we had no choice because we weren't strong enough. Well, no, no, no. Because wasn't it like if we chose to give up, we didn't get demerits, but we got detention? It was the fact that we did something stupid that got us both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's what it was. Something like that, anyway. You're right. Jacob... Put Mr. Harrison down. She hurries oh, off oh, to she... deal with... Huh? I, I, I was confused by that. Like, who? Yeah. She hurries off to deal with someone else. Luckily, there are no major accidents for the rest of this session. Actually, wasn't Jacob the other guy with the light in the sports club? Wasn't that who he was? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. All right. He so he seems to be a bit more aggressive with his magic. Whose strength focuses the caster's life energy to temporarily increase physical strength. Apparently, we could have jumped over the pit with that. Yeah. But we would still would have gotten detention. And Not if we things. made it. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't remember reading about that, because he's like, you weren't supposed to just jump over it, like, but I use magic. No, no, that's that's not the kind of magic we want to right. use. Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning and returns after the mail and allowances are delivered. I get up to go to my detention. 